All right, Jalen, thank you so much for sitting down with me today and just talking about spring football because obviously spring is football season still. And just how have the spring practices been for you and for your arm? Everything's been going according to plan, you know. Um, I feel like we've been we've gotten the chance to be able to, you know, keep growing as a team, uh, being able to, you know, maintain the goals that we've created for the spring ball. You know, I feel like we've been, been doing a pretty good job being able to attain those goals by the end of spring ball. So, you know, we're on a great path right now, and I feel like the trajectory that we've been wanting to take uh, for this upcoming season, I feel like we're on that path. Nice. And what are some of those goals that you guys are working toward this spring? Um, you know, our main goal right now is being able to understand the, the, the intent of the play. You know, we're, we're calling Coach K is up there calling the play for a reason. So he wants us as offense to be able to know the reason why, because if we know the reason why that play is called, we'll do a better job being able to execute it when it's time to execute the play. And I saw you doing some drills that were snapping drills, and sometimes the ball would be snapped high, sometimes the ball would be snapped low, just to get you prepared for those moments in case that happens. How much of the spring is just preparing for those little moments that could happen during games? Yeah, I mean, you know, Coach K, one thing Coach K has always been consistent with saying since he's been getting here is, you know, this is the difference. You know, you never know what the difference is, so we try our best to be able to focus on everything that we're able to work on, because in the game, it might be that one little snap that you get in that one play in the moment. How are you going to be able to react to that play? So, you know, we try to do our best to be able to prepare ourselves for those certain situations. Yeah. Are there any other drills that you guys do just to prepare for little situations like that? Um, no, definitely. I mean, uh, we have our, our ball security drills. You know, there's little things that, you know, a defense will try to do to be able to tackle you, be able to get the ball down. So we try our best to be able to simulate these drills. We have a, a drill called a, the cut tackle drill where basically you have to jump over something and to be able to dive into something. And then the coaches are trying to punch the ball to your hands as if somebody's cut tackling you. So, you know, we have little drills like that to be able to help ourselves be able to get better. Nice. And your position group is just always so competitive year <laughs> after year, it seems like. How do you keep using it just to fuel your fire instead of it wearing you out? Yeah, I mean, you know, I look at those guys as people that I'm able to learn from, you know, no matter how young you are or how old you are, you're able to learn something from somebody else. Somebody has knowledge and wisdom that you're able to learn from. So, you know, I focus when, when it comes to competition, I focus on being, having, being in competition with myself. I, at the end of the day, if I'm not in competition with myself or if I feel like I'm in competition with anybody else, I don't feel confident enough in my abilities to be able to be at the level that I'm at. So, you know, I look at it as, you know, I'm competing with myself, but I'm also here with a bunch of other guys who know other things that I don't know and I'm being able to grow from them. And now that all these coaches have been here for a few years, how is this spring just kind of different from the past spring or from the season or even from the winter? Yeah, I mean, you know, last spring we really restarted the whole entire offense to be able to, you know, get all the new guys acclimated and everything. For the new guys that just came in this spring, it's definitely hard for them because this spring we didn't restart. We basically uh, carried on everything that we learned from the season to be able to come in this spring and, you know, be able to keep on building upon that because this upcoming season we have goals and aspirations to be able to do better than we did last year though we were able to have a great start last year we want to be able to show the world that we can finish mm -hmm. I like that and just what are you personally working on this spring to get ready for the season and just better your game um, being able to you know move the pocket my pocket presence the most uh, being able to extend plays and being able to you know, show the world what I'm able to do when I do extend plays and also being able to, you know, create touchdowns off plays that aren't designed to be touchdowns. Like being able to, you know, I feel pressure, roll out, um, you know, point a guy down the field, throw it to him and let him be able to run. Or even if it's just being able to throw a hitch route, give it to my receiver in space, let him make somebody miss and then let him go 70 yards for a touchdown. Yeah, and you have a lot of guys returning for your O-line too, which is nice. And you have Spencer, who is massive. Just how is it having that protection there. Definitely feel protected, I'll tell you that much. But, you know, I feel like we're, me and the O-line are definitely on one accord. We know what calls are gonna be called when the defense is doing something specifically. Even if I haven't called it yet, they're probably looking at me or somebody on the line is looking at me because they know that I'm gonna make that call sooner or later. So, you know, I feel like that just all comes with, you know, the development and being able to show that we're able to do what we have to do in different situations. I feel like I have a connection with everybody on that O-line outside of just being inside this building. That's why Patrick Mahomes gets his O-line designer watches for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out Patrick Mahomes for sure. <laughs> All right, Jalen, thank you so much. Thank you.